Are you ready? Are you ready? Get set, go! Hurry, 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 don't be slow! Eat your breakfast, drink your juice up, everything's so yummy! It's a baby, get set, go! It's a baby, get set, go! The sound, the sound of the sirens Finley, the fire engine Here comes Finley, it's time to play Ring, ring, ring Somebody's calling Clang, clang, clang There goes the bell Zoom, zoom, zoom Rev up your engines Here comes Finley and all his friends Finley, the fire engine Hear the sound, the sound of the sirens Finley, the fire engine here comes Finley, it's time to play. Ring, 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 let's play with Finley. Clang, 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 hear the bell ring. Zoom, 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 rev up your engines. Here comes Finley and all his friends. Finley, the fire engine, that's the sound, the sound of his sirens. Finley, the fire engine, here comes Finley, it's time to play. Station number five. It's wakey wakey time. <laughs> Good morning to you too, Scout. <laughs> okay, Mr. Bell. I think we're all awake. This isn't another wake-up call, Captain. It's an emergency. There's a fire at DJ's garage. <gasps> DJ's garage? I hope she's okay. Let's go, Finley. <laughs> I'm worried about DJ Two Scout. I won't be able to sleep a wink until I know she's all right. <laughs> Morning, Gooby. DJ, what are you doing up so early? I thought only us dustbin lorries got up at the crack of dawn. I'm starting a new job. I just had a wash and a fill up at the track yard. Now I have to race home and pick up a few tools. See you later. See you. Good luck on your new job. <gasps> oh, no! A fire in my garage! Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I need water! Oh, okay, now what? DJ, you're okay! Thank goodness! But my garage! <laughs> we'll take care of it. Now please stay back and remain at a safe distance. Yes, DJ. Fire's very dangerous. It appears that the fire was caused by this electric heater. You had a pile of newspapers on a table next to it. I... I suppose I left the heater on by accident when I rushed out this morning. And then my exhaust must have blown the newspapers off the table and onto the heater. You have to be very careful about things like that, DJ. Yes, indeed. Heaters can be dangerous fire hazards if left unattended. And you should never keep items around them that could catch fire. Your garage almost burnt down. I didn't know a little heater could be so dangerous. I wasn't scared of the fire. I could have put it out myself. That's something you should never try, DJ. Not ever. It's dangerous for non-professionals to try and fight fires. Captain Parker's right. It's a good thing we got here when we did. You could have been hurt. We have to make sure these hoses are in perfect shape, Scout. We wouldn't want them to leak during a fire. Finley, can I have a word with you? Of course, Captain Parker. I've been thinking about that fire in DJ's garage, and I'm very concerned that other young trucks like DJ are unclear about what to do in a fire emergency. Yes, I've been thinking the same thing as well. I have an idea. Really? I'd like to hear it, Finley. It's a bit silly, but I thought maybe we could put on a show. A show? Yes, one that teaches everyone the importance of fire safety. 
with songs and jokes and demonstrations and... Oh, I told you it was a bit silly. I don't think it's silly at all, young Finley. In fact, I think putting on a show about fire safety is a wonderful idea. You do? Great! I'm sure I could get my friends to help me too. Oh, it's showtime! That's my cue to fire up the spotlight. First bright thing you've done in a while, Lois. Oh, shush! Ladies and gentle trucks, the truck yard is proud to present an evening of entertainment and fire safety tips. And now, here's your host, Friendlyville's favourite young fire engine, Finley! Thanks everyone. Being a fire engine, I get to see fires all the time, but they can be really scary and dangerous. Tonight, we're going to show you ways to prevent fires and also what to do in case you ever see a fire. We're going to start with an important subject, matches. Lots of fires are accidentally started by kids playing with matches. If you find matches or a lighter, you should tell a grown-up. Now, here's Gorby and the extinguishers, with a small reminder for you. You can play with a ball or play with a doll. You can play with toy trains, but please, I'm begging you, whatever you do, don't ever play with these. Don't play with matches, don't play with matches, don't play with matches, hear me when I say With matches, take it away, don't play with matches, never okay With matches, nobody play with matches, take it away Don't play with matches, don't play with matches, don't play with matches Say hi to my pals from the junkyard During a fire, smoke can be so dark and thick that you can't even see at all. That's why you have to plan ahead. Every house and garage should have a fire escape plan. That means you need to learn every safe way out of every room. And you also need to know every safe way out of your house. So let's practice. Pretend there's a fire and you have to escape. Can you find your way out, even if it's dark and smoky? Good, they're keeping low. That's because when there's a fire and there's smoke, the air is less smoky down near the ground. Did you see that? They went past the bed. They know never to hide under a bed or in a wardrobe when there's a fire. You can escape a fire, but you can't hide from it. They're doing fine. See how they're moving quickly without panicking? They did it. They know how to get out safely. Everyone should have a fire escape plan for the home or garage. And then practice, practice, practice. I meet lots of children every day when I'm selling ice cream. With the help of Scout the Fire Dog, I'd like to show you trucks something you can share with any children you meet. It could save their lives if their clothes ever catch on fire. It's called Stop, Drop and Roll. Now here's a little lesson every kid should learn. Stop, drop and roll. You should know, drop to the floor, stop, drop and roll. 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 Yes, stop, drop and roll. Stop, drop and roll. Stop, drop and roll. You can put the fire out if you stop, drop and roll. You can put the fire out if you stop, drop and roll. Welcome to another round of Friendlyville's favourite game show. Know your fire safety! Contestants, as you all know, this is a smoke detector. Every home or garage should have them. They sound an alarm when there's a fire danger. Now for one zillion points and a chance to be the all-time Grand Super Champion, what should you do when you hear this sound? That means there might be a fire, so you should get out of the building quickly. Go to a safe place, find a grown-up, and make them call the fire brigade. Go on, 
outside and stay outside. Never go back inside a burning building. Well, the judges agree. You're all correct. We have three winners. Remember, we fire engines will always be there to help out in case there's a fire. But you have to do your part too. Right, Captain Parker? That's right, Finley. Each and every one of you can be a big help by practicing fire safety at home and in your garages. Well, uh, we don't have a big finish or anything. So, uh, well, that's the end of the show. Hold on now, Finley. Aren't you forgetting something important? Am I? Yes. You and your friends need to take a bow. Oh, yes. Come on out here, everybody. Let's hear it, everyone. Were they terrific? <laughs> hey, hey, Billy. The fire engine's rolling into town. Hey, hey, Billy. You're the fire engine of the year. Let's go, Finley. We light up whenever you're around.